Right folks, I'm over at Lustenbury, second video. Um, the tour is just up around the corner there, I'm doing that in a minute. Uh, what I've done, I've just come to the Avalon Orchard. I'm only going to have a brief visit here. Um, just a brief visit. Before I climb up the steep bit in the baking heat and it is hot. So here's a little orchard, you can follow it around, but I won't be doing any going down. I ain't going down because it means you've got to come up. Okay, but you can follow the path around. But I don't want to go down and up in this heat. So I'm going to do a little bit of this. Of course, over there somewhere is where the festival took place. And uh, there, like I said, there's steps there. Look, it's, it's only a walk around that little bit of orchard there. And it'd be right in the winter, wouldn't it? When it's cool. I'm just going to do a little bit in here to cool down a bit. Let me little pasties go down. I had two gorgeous pasties. God, bloody brilliant. They were so good. No, so you've got a few of the tour there as well, look, and you can go up steps here to join up as well. See, you can do steps here, which I might do in a minute. I might go up that way. I'm just having, I'm just having a little bit of a cool break before I go up. So I'm just wandering through here for a little bit. This is the Avalon Orchard. A nice cool area and this path will be part of the walk that the druids do around the <coughs> the tour there's a pathway that they follow and you gradually go up and up so all the time see I've got um, images of the tour look up there I'll climb up it in a minute but I'm not doing it yet because I shouldn't have it at the pasties first. I knew that, but I was really hungry. But I deliberately didn't eat breakfast this morning so I wouldn't get indigestion. Now I've given it to myself. So uh, basically, I'll just wait for it to settle a bit. Just stay down here for a minute. It's going to be very, very hot up there. Very, very hot. There's an initial climb that you've got to go up and then once you're up the top it's all downhill. That first bit's the worst bit where people watch you doing it because they all know it's horrible. So anyway, I'm not going to go any further here. As you can see, it's winter and you can follow different paths around along there. I've also had half a Chelsea and half of iced Chelsea bun. So, so gorgeous. So I'm going to go up them little steps in a minute. And then I'll climb up. Climb up the top and do some photos from the top. I'm letting the camera have a little, little cooling session as well here. Sorry I wouldn't know all this. Sorry I knew this place well. She lived in Glastonbury. Oh God, it must have been a couple of years at least. I can't remember exactly. I think she came when she was 20. She was over here when she was 21. Yeah, I can't quite remember really. She got brand new in 2001 or two. Yes, yeah, so I was over here in the early 90s. She was a goth. Right, I'm going to stop now. 
Just going to stop here for a minute and have a breather. Over I'm now. just going to video a bit of me going up customary tour on a very, very, very hot day. There's even a warning out how hot it's going to be. But Friday and Saturday are supposed to be even hotter. So there's the tour up there. I'm just going to take my time. There's no race. I shall stop and rest a lot on the way up. And admire the gorgeous Somerset scenery over to the Mendip Hills over there. See, people are going straight down, they're actually causing erosion. Under here we have the secret water tower. Yeah. Right, let me just stop and take a picture. The wasps will be out soon. Yes, there are some up at the top. Yeah, you get loads of them here, don't you? You get past me all right? Yes, thank you. Okay. Right, carrying on up. It's not too bad. Yeah, so I was chatting to him. We ended up talking about blood groups and his wife happened to be a haematologist. And he's, I told him about me, me and my three daughters, we've all got different, but oh no, one's got the same as me. And of course my granddaughter, B negative, Corin. <sighs> Nearly there. I still think this is the better way up. Yeah, I still think this is the better way up. way down. You can see the terracing in the hill there. Could have been used in the past for grapes. When the, this, uh, when the fields dry out, really really dry out, you can often see ancient settlement markings here. It's quite green really. Because it's a floodplain, that's what gets loads of water. You wait next week. This was the Vale of Avalon, of course, where uh, there used to be a lot of water, and Gustonbury was an island, apparently. I think it's very, very hot, and I'm still videoing on the way up. I'm surprised the camera won't frizzles. Yeah, I'm glad I've done this way up. This is the place to be when you get up the top. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, this one's a pot in it. Oh dear. So it's lovely and cool in here. 
Lovely and cool. Oh, I've been up here so many times that I always read this, even though I've been up here hundreds of times. The Isle of Avalon. The story of St. Patrick in the 13th century. He became a leader of a group of hermits at Glastonbury. Finds of prehistoric and Roman and later something or other. This was always used by man. Right, let's turn off the picture.